What is going on my friends? Welcome to another quick, quick video. I'm going to try and make this one real quick. It's going to be a trade recap on a trade that I did in which I turned a $250 investment into $750, giving us a $500 profit. I did it within about two hours and that's, that's pretty much that. We're just going to break down the trade real briefly for you guys and we're going to wrap it up there. Um, it's actually Monday morning right now. Uh, this is a trade from last week. I you guys know me, I mentioned in my other videos, uh, the market resets for me at like 9 p.m. because I'm on Pacific time, so 9 p.m. would be midnight on Eastern time, and that's when the whole system here resets. So I don't like to make videos when it doesn't show me my profit here because everybody likes to complain and be like, oh, well, if it doesn't show it there, even though we can see the orders, um, it's a scam because I said so. Uh, you guys know how people are. So I don't really like to show it, but... I was here this morning, Monday morning, ready to trade and everything, and I didn't really like what I was really seeing today. Nothing really exciting setting up for me, so we'll see if I revisit the market in like maybe like an hour or so. Uh, some of the spreads were a little wild. Some volume was low on some of the contracts I wanted to trade, and yeah, I just figured just to leave it alone, revisit it in an hour, or just come back tomorrow because, you know, we don't have to force a trade. That's the beautiful thing about trading is that... You take trades when they come to you. Don't just sit there and be like, well, I'm bored. Let me go and just throw some darts in the dark. Um, no. So, anyways, quick trade recap here. We had, where are we here? So, I got into the trade 8.59. We're just going to call it 9 a.m. And then I got out at 10.52. We'll just call it 11 a.m. So, it was about a two-hour long trade. I got into the contract, 25 contracts. It was a smaller, like a lotto type of a trade. Um, the way it goes with these trades is I was completely willing to even let the trade go to zero. Sorry for that ruckus. That's the uh, chat room in the background there. Um, I was completely willing to let the, go, the trade go to zero. As we know, the way options works, one is equivalent to 100. So one isn't 10 cents. One would be 10 cents times... Sorry for the ruckus. That was my alarm now. Man, all these sounds that happen in the morning. I don't normally make videos this early. Anyway, so one is equivalent to 100. So one is not 10 cents. One is $10 because 10 cents times 100 is $10. Very simple. So I had 25 of them. 25 times $10 is $250. About two hours later, what I bought for $10 turned into $3, and it actually turned into even more. By the end of the day, this was $9.50. So imagine, we turned $250 into $750, but if I just held it till the end of the day, I would have turned $250 into like $2,000. But again, we're not here talking about that. You stick to your plan. You get in where you're supposed to get in. You get out where you're supposed to get out, and that's that. You move on. You don't worry about woulda, coulda, shoulda because, well, I'll explain that in a minute. So, got in it for $250. Then I sold it two hours later at $30 each. 30 times 25 is $750. So the $250 that we put in turned into $750. We sold it for $750. Subtract the cost of the trade, obviously, which is $250. That gives you a $500 profit. So it's like if you bought a used car for $250. And let's say this one you were willing to say, all right, dude, if it doesn't even work, if, like we'll just send it to the junkyard. You're willing to lose $250 on it because you know the profit you're going to get is in a proper risk to reward ratio. See, I made $500 on a trade that would have, lo it would have lost me no more than $250. If the whole market just decided to crash or shut down or disappear, all I would have lost is $250 if I was wrong. If I was right here, I made a $500 profit. So I, I tripled my money basically because doubling my money would have been just making another 250 profit. But since I made 500 profit, that's tripling my money. So, and, and again, the reason why I'm just pointing this stuff out is because I like to show the power of options. That's what mainly making videos like this and kind of, you know, specifying the prices and things like that is for is to kind of show you guys like, wow, look it. We put 250 in and made a $500 profit. I'll calculate it and show you guys how much money needed to be in the trade if we were trading shares instead of options. So, sorry, I wish I could mute that sound. Uh, I might be able to actually if I just mute my audio, but I don't know if that'll mute the microphone, so I don't want to mess with it. 
So this is where it was yesterday, or not yesterday, it was last week, um, right at right around the 9 a.m., like I said, this is where I got into the trade. So I didn't even get in at the lowest point. I could have gotten into the trade for like $2 instead of $10 here. It could have gone from $2 all the way up to right here where it closed. It had a high of like a dollar and 10 cents, but it closed at like 95 cents. So imagine if I got in here and I held it all the way up there. But we don't worry about that kind of stuff because if you do, my plan was to get out right at the 345. So I stuck to my plan. I was disciplined and that was that. If you don't, so for example, I might come into the next trade and I might say, okay, yeah, my plan is to get out at the 345. Man, what are they doing in the chat room? We don't talk that much on a regular basis. I try to keep it very uh, specific and very strict to uh, make sure that people, you know, stay on topic. I try not to let people, you know, get sidetracked and have side conversations in the main chat room because I don't want people coming in looking for the valuable information and they see Tom and Bob over there talking about, you know, the, the sports game. I don't know. So either people are making a lot of money or someone's breaking the rules. I think it's people are making a lot of money. I mean, the, the people are really good about, you know, being on top of the rules and everything. So anyways, now that I got sidetracked with that, um, I got into the trade here. I closed it out here. The reason why you stay disciplined and stick to your plan is because there's going to come a time where you say, oh man, I got out at 345, but it even went up to 346. So the next trade, yeah, I told myself I'll get out at 345. Here we are at the 345. But you know what? Last time it went to 346. So I think I'm going to hold it this time, even though my plan was to get out at the 345. So what happens? You get greedy and it just so happens to work out perfectly that the one time that you're ready to get greedy boom, it happens to just completely reverse on you. You end up giving back all your profits. You end up turning it into a loss. You start panicking now, out now, and it just becomes a mess. So remember, this is why I say consistency is key. Discipline is key. That is what is going to get you success in the long run as a trader is sticking to your plan. There we go. So got in here, 10 cents. As the value of the stock went up, my 10 cent or $10 thing turned into a 30 cent thing or a $30 thing. And as I mentioned, even by the close, it was a 90 cents, 95 cent thing. Um, but again, we don't worry about that. Um, and that was pretty much that guys, very quick trade. Um, didn't really want to get too deep into it and get too detailed and all that. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys this trade and just kind of, you know, give you guys a little content. It's been a little bit of a hectic week, last couple weeks for me. Um, we're, we're obviously in the heart of like the holiday season here. So I do apologize for not posting that much. You guys know me. I come and go in waves. So I feel like I'm hitting one of those waves where I've been here. I've been posting for a few weeks. And now obviously the holiday season is coming. Then we got the New Year season coming and then the new year will be here. And then I usually like to start traveling at that point because the weather starts looking nice. So I might start slowing down a little bit on the videos, but you know, I'll probably pick back up again in like April or May. If I get bored with, you know, I'm like, all right, dude, I'm not doing anything. I'm just kind of lingering. Let me make some videos for people. Uh, that's usually what I do. You know, I get busy and then I get bored. I get busy and then I get bored. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to put this one out for you guys since I was here and didn't really do any trades this Monday. Uh, well, I might trade something later. Who knows? I probably won't. I probably might as well just let it be at this point. Uh, so I wanted to make the video with the time that I had here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I placed this trade mainly because I have some things planned for 2020, some um, extra videos I'm trying to make for the course and everything. I like to, like I said, I like to over deliver. For example, when I first made the course, there weren't any live trading videos in it, but I listened to people and I heard some people say, Hey dude, I'd like to see this example. Like, this. So what did I do? I made some live trading examples and I threw it into the course. No one expected it. Nobody knew it was coming. I just said, Hey guys, if you have my course, I went and I did something extra for you guys. You might appreciate it. So I might be doing something like that again too. I might not. I don't know. No promises. I don't want anyone emailing me saying, hey man, when's that thing coming that you said? Don't worry, guys. You know, there's nothing coming. But there might be something coming. So anyways, um, that was partially why I was making this trade as well, a specific trade like this. Because there's various different trades, you know. Uh, but anyways, I'm rambling, guys. I'm rambling. This is supposed to be below 10 minutes long. We're pushing the 10-minute mark. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys can hit that thumbs up. Check me out on all the social medias, Who's Bijan T. And I also made a new personal YouTube channel, Who's Bijan T as well. I'll put the link in the description. I would greatly appreciate if you can check that one out as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day, my friends.